can see my slides yeah yes sir okay so now what is when you see a peripheral nerve let's say median nerve or ulnar nerve or um, common peroneal nerve what you see is a bundle of axons okay uh, and these bundles of axons are surrounding by mainly three connective tissue you need to know and those three connective tissue uh, you need to know endoneuron perineuron epineuron so basically the nerve you see will be just this a, a bundle of uh, axons and surrounded by three connective tissue endo uh, peri and epineuron and what are these three connective tissue layers they are if you see an individual uh, an, an, an axon let's go back to the nerve itself if you see axon like these tubes and these axon axon has got myelin around it if they are myelinated some nerves are also unmyelinated so no not all nerves are myelinated but most of the will be myelinated and then you have an axon and then this axon surrounded by myelin and then surrounded by connective tissue first connective tissue is called endoneuron and these endoneuron these these tubules of axon surrounded by endoneuron are uh, are in a bundle so you will have number of axons surrounded by their individual endoneuron and then surrounded by another layer of connective tissue called perineuron and this is also called a fascicle so what is a fascicle fascicle is a bundle of uh, axons together surrounded by perineuron and then in the total now there will be outermost covering of epineuron and then these bundles of fascicles or perineuron and in between you will have blood vessels which is called vasa nervosa um, because they are blood vessels to the nerves so and that's all you need to remember as far as the gross anatomy of the nerve is concerned so if we revise that the nerve consists of axon surrounded by endoneuron an axon may be myelinated or non myelinated and these are fascicle and these fascicle are surrounded by another connective tissue called perineuron individually the every axon is surrounded by endoneuron okay and then the whole nerve is surrounded outside by epineuron and then you have vasa nervosa which is the blood vessels and some fat tissue inside between these fascicles so that's the anatomy of the nerve but does the nerve only have axon no so now also have on the end of it this is 95% of the nerve so if you see any nerve but very close to spinal cord or very close to where it is ending let's say at neuromuscular junction it will have slightly different structure than axon so what will it will have when it close to the uh, from where it is originating it will have a cell body so this is your cell body or soma cell body of the nerve is called a soma so this will be a soma there which will have some dendrites on it and then initially there is a little bit neck of it called axon hillock and then the same axon surrounded by myelin and endoneuron and this will continue and at the end of the again axon will will have multiple branches and called axon tubules uh, like structure so these are axon ends or axon tubules but these two ends the top and the bottom end consist of less than 5% of the nerve and you will hardly see them because they are very close to the uh, either to the muscles or to the vertebral column so inside the vertebral column if you see a nerve how it originate it originate from the motor fiber of, or originate from anterior horn cell the uh, sensory fiber originate actually the body of the sensory fibers are in dorsal ganglia so the cell body will be soma will be in dorsal ganglion whereas the soma of the uh, motor will be on anterior horn cell so alpha cells here will alpha neuron which will give rise to multiple rootlets and from dorsal ganglion they will go to the posterior horn or dorsal horn for the sensory one so sensory goes here motor goes here and little bit of sympathetic from the lateral side comes here the, when the sympathetic nerves come it connect by the two called gray and white cubby uh, gray and white com communication can you see uh, can you see now yes sir 
Yeah. So the 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 sympathetic nerve, so a nerve can mixed nerve will have motor, sensory, and sympathetic also. So motor comes from alpha cells, which are on the anterior horn cell of the gray matter. The sensory neurons come from dorsal root ganglion, which has got transmit finally to the dorsal horn. And from the lateral horn comes sympathetic, and there is a chain here. And this is a sympathetic chain. And one goes inside, one come outside. So these are two communicating with the nerve, which goes, come outside, is called gray ramus, and which goes, uh, uh, which come inside is called white ramus. So this is called white and gray ramus of sympathetic chain. So even if you forget about sympathetic at the moment, but just remember there's a little bit of sympathetic uh, input also to the nerves. And, and it connect the nerve and after connecting immediately come out as a gray ramus and then go back as a white ramus. So that's a bit complication of the sympathetic chain. But motor and sensory combined together forms a mixed spinal nerve. And this mixed spinal nerve, very close to this, uh, where its origin, give a posterior rami branch and the most of the other nerve are anterior ramus branch. So most of the nerve you see, median nerve, ulnar nerve, um, all the most of the nerve in the brachial plexus named nerve are or originating from anterior primary ramus of the number of the nerve roots, uh, which you know from C5 <coughs> to T1. So those are the roots which are coming and those are giving, uh, anterior ramus is giving because posterior ramus just supply back muscles. So back, uh, back muscles like erector spiny and other back muscles are supplied by this posterior ramus and some little sensation in this area. Rest whole of the upper limb, lower limb, they are all from the anterior ramus. So what is the nerve you see in the median nerve? What will it contain? Uh, whatever its root value is, it will contain the anterior primary ramus of that mixed spinal nerve. It will have motor, sensory and some an autonomic nervous sympathetic nervous system in it. Yeah. So that's the anatomy of the nerve. So first thing, if the exam comes, you need to draw uh, these three diagrams for you to understand. First is this, what is the nerve consist of? Mainly exons, endoneuron, perineuron, and epineuron. And then say that this is 95% of it, but the, how the exon originate? It originate from the cell bodies. So sensory cell bodies are in dorsal root ganglion. And motor sensor board is alpha motor is in the anterior horn or gray horn of the spinal cord. And there's little bit communication or uh, communicating ramus, which gives you some sympathetic supply to it. And together they...